This is Ariel. This is the Roundtable Discussion, and today we are excited. Once again, I'm Ariel. I'll take my mask off. I'm Yvette Chevalier, a local attorney in Nevada and a 40 year resident of the state of Nevada as of right now. Hi, I'm Juan Campuzano. I'm a delegate for Joe Biden. I'm Devin Charters. I'm a freelance model and dancer slash singer. Uh, fairly new to Las Vegas, but very excited to be here and want to say thank you for CCR Solutions for having us here. Nice. And very nice to meet all of you. Your first name again? Devin Charters. Devin. 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 Nice yes, ma'am. You, you too. I'm Angel. Hello, <laughs> and I'm Angel Liedler, and I'm here with you guys today. But anyway, I just want to say thank you to CCR for sponsoring the Ranchable Discussion at Ariel Duave Network. Once again, they're located at 4120 Westwind Mel Lane, Las Vegas, Nevada. And today we're going to start talking about politics. Of course, that's uh, Trump versus Biden. And we want to put the table to our attorney here. Thank Go you. Go for it, Miss Attorney. Again, Yvette Chevalier Lopez, attorney at law for here in the state of Nevada. And thank you for having me and for having all of us. Absolutely. Um, yeah, politics can be a, a, a little bit stressful to discuss, but it's a necessary evil. Soon, in November 3rd, 2020, we'll have elections again. And there is so much to, to, to discuss and to think about in the next several months. It's pretty quick that the time is going by. We're in July. The election's November 3rd. That's a short amount of time. So bringing to the table, we have here a Biden delegate. And I'm not sure who you guys are supporting, but citizens that have an interest in what's happening in, in the state and what's happening in the United States to bring some discussion to the table about uh, why Trump or why Biden and why not either one of them or so. So why, why don't we at least open up the floor by giving uh, the delegate for uh, President-elect Joe Biden mm -hmm. a chance to tell us why the people should consider Joe Biden as, as president, for president. Okay, I think we've, right now we're living in an unprecedented time where we need a leader to stand up because right now we have the highest unemployment, we have a deadly virus that is killing a lot of people, you know, we, our businesses are shut down. We have all this thing going on and we need somebody to take America back and to lead us in the right way. And that person I believe is Joe Biden to lead us back to where we were the greatest nation on earth. And, and interestingly enough, um, I have always, since the age of 18 years old, when I could first vote, been a registered Democrat. However, I disagree that Joe Biden is the person to lead this nation for many reasons. I actually went to Joe Biden's presentation at Rancho High School, and I even have a Joe Biden sign in my living room. Prior to Joe Biden coming, I went and heard Kamala Harris, mm -hmm. and I have her signs, and I actually hosted three Camilla watch parties at my home. So I'm actually someone who's always supported Democrats. However, over the last um, uh, maybe six weeks, I've come to a heartfelt conclusion that supporting anyone in the Democrat party right now is harmful to the well-being of our nation and, our, and the people. I have nine grandchildren. Three of them are, are part black, black, darker than you are and the other six are white. And I feel that the focus on racial tension in this country is disgusting, it's totally wrong. Uh, my black grandchildren I love as much as my white grandchildren, mm -hmm. and my white grandchildren I don't want being raised in a society where they're afraid of being beat up or afraid of being labeled white privilege. I mean, they're just little kids that are innocent, they're alive, and I don't, I totally feel that going towards skin color as a national debate item is completely disastrous to the unity and to the moving forwardness of our country. We're a country where everyone is welcome. We're a country where maybe you can't say we're colorblind because when I look at you, I can clearly tell you're Asian of some mm -hmm. sort. When I look at you, you look like you could be part Latino, part African American, or some Filipino or something. Some Scottish you know, black. or you know, and and when you look at me, you may think, oh, she's white. But guess what? 
I have my DNA. I'm 15% black. I'm 18% native, and and the and I'm 60% Jewish that I didn't even know about. I'm a real melting pot. I can't live or support a country where everything is black, black, white, white, yellow, yellow. That's something that happened in the you know 100 years ago almost. And I, I don't, I don't want to live in a country where color is the focus. And Biden is playing on color. He went so far as to say, if you vote for Trump, you ain't black, brother. Well, guess what? People, black people can vote for whoever they want to. Right. And that statement turned me off so much, made me feel like he's so, such a hypocrite that I won't vote for him. I am a Democrat, but I won't vote for him. But There's a whole lot of, a lot of, yes, I can vote for Trump because guess what? To me, Trump is a known malady. He don't hide nothing. Trump is what he is. He is you a know? He's, a, he's not a politician. He's not articulate. He's not charismatic. He's just a man that... You know, his daddy helped him get some money, seed money to do real estate. He did real estate. He, he's built a lot of hotels, a lot of businesses. He's done a lot of deals, some good, some not so good. But he's a wealthy man that gave up his wealth to try to make America great. Biden has been living off of people like us, our little bit of tax money the federal government takes for the last 40 years. And Biden, as much as I think he's a nice man, I don't think he's a bad man. I, uh, he's never done anything. In 40 years, what has he accomplished other than collect a congressional salary, a senatorial salary, and then vice presidential salary and get his kids to become rich, you know, on items that they have no experience in, you know, Ukraine and China. His kid was, uh, you know, hanging out at the strip club doing cocaine. Nothing wrong with that. He's human. He has his issues. But that's not somebody you want consulting internationally for China and Ukraine. But so, grabbing people by the... Is that's okay? true. Is no, that story? is not okay. No. He, uh. Yes, I I will say, but you know, there's a lot of claims that Biden did the same thing. Okay. Right. Can I say you something? Know? Sure. Yeah, yes. Okay. You answer yeah. that. What okay. Do you think about that? So let me let me tackle something. I agree. Ninety-five percent of what she said is correct. We're how we have a racial problem. We have the worst racism problem right now when we that we've had in America. But a lot of that is being brought to by. Donald Trump and the, the words he says because words do matter. Words do matter. And when a president says that all Mexicans are rapists, when a president denigrates Asians, denigrates African Americans, then it makes it okay to be racist. And that's, that's, that's not right. That's not right. So he's the one that's brought a lot of this into the forefront that shouldn't be. So now it's okay to be racist when it shouldn't be. It should never be about black and white. But he made it. I mean, and he's he's had a track record. His father's had a track record. 178 lawsuits against African Americans in the 70s. Uh, Donald Trump's parents because he wouldn't rent to African Americans in his apartments. So he's had a long history. Long and and by opposite, Joe Biden is loved by the African American community. Joe Biden's Why do you love. Think he's that? I mean, because he's he's he's, he's been with. <laughs> his affiliation with Obama, mm -hmm. but he's also had 40 years of service where he's done a lot for the African-American community, a lot for all of us, a lot for women. You know, he's done a lot of things. He's, he's liked all over the world. Joe Biden is liked all over the world. I can't say the same thing for Donald Trump. Donald Trump's hated all over the world. Well, okay? what do you think about that, is that? Well, I mean, in, in, part of what he says is correct, just like he says part of what I say is correct, because what we're dealing with is, you know, basically two not great options here. Yeah, I do not perceive I Donald Trump as a wonderful option for, for president, but I definitely do not perceive Biden as a wonderful option either. To me, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. I've seen Trump for the last four years, always. He may be inarticulate, he may be rude, he may be a little gruff around the edges. However, everything he has done for black people, for the cities, for the everything he has done has actually helped America. You may disagree. I watched Biden for eight years with Obama, and they're the ones that reinstated racism, not Donald Trump. We can go back and cut a lot of clips where the focus went for, back to black, back to, oh, well, blacks are getting the short end of the stick. Blacks are here, and, black, and, and maybe that, and partially that's true. But I'm Puerto Rican, and we really get the short end of the stick.
And you know what? We've voted as a country more than twice to be a public, to be a state and not Clinton, not Obama and not Biden help. So don't blame it on Trump. It was Biden and, and Obama who ditched the Puerto Rican people after offering us statehood. We gave up our land. We gave up our waters. We gave up our sovereignty. We gave up our buildings. We destroyed our environment to help the U.S. protect America against the communists near Cuba and near from Russia. We gave up everything as a country. They destroyed our country, ruined our waters, ruined our streets, left all the people unemployed when Clinton sunsetted all the tax break laws and they moved to India, Mexico and wherever, China and wherever else, left all the Puerto Rican people unemployed and Obama did nothing to help the Puerto Rican people and they voted to be a state. That is the biggest disrespect, not throwing a piece of you know, paper to an audience that's looking for paper that Trump did. I don't consider what he did rude. I consider what Obama and Biden did to the people of Puerto Rico to be the biggest slap in the face because they're the ones who always promise things to poor people and then they don't deliver. It's like a chicken in every oven and a car in every garage and you know what? Nothing is free. All At right. least Trump is what he is. Hey, go to work, get a job, let me help develop different businesses. Let me create, let me bring jobs back to America. Let me bring, take those factories out of China. Let's get America back manufacturing. Let's get America making things. Let's get kids back in school. He may be rough around the edges, yeah, but, but the guy is knows business. I want to share, share this. Please. She's, she's right about that. And I agree with her because you know what? Mm -hmm. What Trump is doing is he, he might be having a big mouth, Okay, he's like, uh, like, like me. I talk straight. I say what I say. <laughs> but words okay. matter. Like, words matter. Remember, so many presidents already acquired says, I'm going to build a wall. Another president said, I'm going to build a wall. But nobody finish it. Mm -hmm. Every president wants to build a wall. But you know who wants to finish it? It's Trump. Remember when he first ran for president, mm -hmm. he said, this is what I'm going to do. If I'm going to become a president, I'm going to make... Uh, great America, America great again, right? Yeah. He said he's going to bring the business, and he did, right? And he said, I'm going to build the wall, but everybody laughing at him because it's not going to work. As you said the last time, you said it's yeah. not going to work, but he it said, is. He said he's going to make America great again. We got a lot of people without jobs. We have how many people dying a, a day? No, wait we a minute. Have every, wait a minute. Going. No, 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 and no. Wait a minute. The pandemic. He didn't kill this. No, no, this is a no. pandemic. Yeah, it's he a didn't pandemic. Kill. But, but Trump he, he never didn't. killed anybody. You're saying he's doing a great no. job? He, he <laughs> thought it was a, a democratic hoax, right? Yes? He thought it was a democratic hoax at first. He didn't do anything. We all he, think he, it's he, a he doesn't even no, wear no. a mask. I mean, he he, I still think, listen, listen, when he tried to stop. The, the air travel and mm -hmm. the and and to put a halt to try Point to China. make sure that we understood what was happening. Everybody, including Nancy Pelosi, mm -hmm. went downtown San Francisco kissing and hugging. Come on out, let's eat. Come come have dinner in San Francisco. And everybody called him a homophobe, a xenophobe, a thisophobe, a thatophobe. All, he is not a doctor. He heard there's a virus that could spread. He said, oh my gosh, I better stop the in and out and try to control what's happening to Correct. our borders. Mm -hmm. And the minute he tried to put a halt on travel, everybody started calling him a racist. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't, no, he, he did didn't not. Wear, he didn't wear a mask. It doesn't until matter. Recently. He, yeah, he does because he has to set the example. As the leader, you have to set the example. He, he says dumb things, even as a joke, drink Clorox. We don't say that. We don't, we're don't. we not in a time where to joke around. There's thousands of people dying every day. This is a serious time. This was his time. If he was really a great leader, but why did you it say was not wait? his fault. But wait up. If he's a great okay. leader. Okay. As a great leader, it, this would have been his time to shine, to take over the country. Not to disagree with Anthony Fauci, the scientist who's basing everything based on science. He, he tries to discredit him and then when he sees it backfires then he tries to be his friend he's done a lot of things that are not and he's cost a lot of lives because at first he said it was a democratic hoax it's on tv everybody saw that he thought it was not serious he said it would be over in 14 days right did he say that I, I didn't hear that, but well, I he, believe he, said, he probably did. He, he's he said it was well, He's not a doctor. It's not. It's, it's not his fault. But it, we're under. He. He's captain of the ship. 
So he right now he's in charge, yeah, not Biden. He, so he needs to do, he needs to do everything yeah, right he now. He's captain of the ship. However, here's the problem: since the day the man's name got put on the ballot, mm -hmm. the Democrat and I'm a Democrat. I've been a registered Democrat since 1981. I'm no longer. Mm -hmm. I'm not nonpartisan, but I've always been a Democrat. I've never been a Republican. I've never been a Republican. I didn't vote for Trump. I voted for Hillary. However. What's fair and true is fair and true. From the day the man put his name on the ballot, the FBI, the CIA, the NIA, they've all been trying to screw him. Correct. You know what? This is a country where anybody can run for public office if you're not a felon and you're over the age of 30 or 35, 35 whatever it is. Over you know, above. and you're a US citizen. Okay? You're a US citizen, you can run. He has the he had the money, he had mm -hmm. his little people yeah. supporting Correct. him. Correct. But no, it's not fine because the Democrats have never let him you can't lead if people don't let you lead. What did he do? They what did he, 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 he do to Obama with his little the birth certificate stuff? That was such classless stuff to begin with. What, so to you can't show that Obama was not born well, in the US? No, no, but he, he was born in the US. We we right. proved it and that was or that was proven. And he was born in the U.S., but he was trying to discredit him one way or another. So you can't you can't have it both ways. So if you're going to attack people, you, you should be ready to be attacked yourself. And yeah. believe me, the guy has done stupendous. Because if anybody attacked me the way that man has been attacked, I would have said, you know what, stick this job up here. You know what, I don't need it, goodbye. The guy has tolerated an amount of hatred and stress that is bar none the most incredible he is the best man at saying this because yeah, that's how people are treating him there's, there's, they're there's treating people. him horribly I'm a Democrat. they've been trying to hurt him yeah. since he's put his name on the I'm ballot a Democrat, but there's there's people on the republican side that i respect and he he doesn't even respect his own people look how he treated john mccain a great man that, that disagrees in everything that I believe in, he all believes the opposite. But at least John McCain is a person that will is a straight shooter. That's and look was. how look how yeah how was. He, he was a straight shooter. Look how Donald Trump treated him when he was dead. Look what he did to his wife. You know stuff like that. You do not, you do not do that. And that's somebody that's on his side. Or well, what you he know what? Everybody Mitt, also Mitt treated, treated, treated the wife of Trump badly. Very badly. They don't and even, even respect her. His they don't son. even respect her. Yeah, they're also including the son. That has nothing to do with politics. This is a baby. 13 you know, years old 13 or 12 years old. old. Donald, Come on. Donald Trump years. made fun of Joe Biden's wife that died, Joe Biden's daughter, and Joe Biden's son that they all tragically died, and Donald Trump was making fun of it. But that's Donald Trump. Donald Trump does that. You know, and just full disclosure, I know Donald Trump personally. So personally, I think he's a great guy until he became into politics. I don't know what happened to him. He wasn't this this guy. So the Donald Trump I know is not this Donald Trump. Like this Donald Trump is like a Hollywood Donald Trump. Well, it's they've been, listen, Hollywood. they've been beating him up since the day he put Correct. his name on the ballot. He's been the most set up president in the history of the United States probably. I mean, and because of that, I'm, I don't. I think Donald Trump is rude and crass, and you know, kind of not a good speaker. Not compact. He doesn't know how to show compassion. No, compassion you know, yeah. uh, uh, Biden knows how to talk compassion. He knows how to show some love. He knows how to show some some concern. But on the other hand, Biden's been in office 40 years. His track record is super weak. He doesn't done anything. You say he's done a lot. I've looked at his record. He's done nothing for 40 years collecting salaries off the government, so, uh, always in the shadow of somebody else. He's run for president like 10 times already and always loses. And right now, even though I like him. This is the third he time always, he's running. Okay, third yeah. time. Yeah. The, okay. So, so even though I, I think he has a sweet demeanor, that is not leadership either. This, this world is a rough world. We need a strong man. Trump is a strong man. Yep. Biden is a weak person. He's going to be stepped all over. The man can't have a conversation like we're having now without stuttering a thousand times. You know what? He I has think he has Alzheimer or, or dementia. Alzheimer's or some sort of... He's old. I mean, Donald Trump is old, but Biden's older. You know what? We need... Somebody in their 50s or 40. I'm 58 and I feel too old to run for president. I wouldn't even dare because I know I have some health restraints. You know what? It is like an injustice to the American people to run for president when you are not physically fit to do so. You're supposed to be physically fit and he is not. Correct. He cannot. 
you know, do anything without reading a teleprompter. He cannot hold, answer questions to reporters without stuttering, forgetting where he's at, forgetting his own wife's name. He has a mental deficit. We're gonna, and we're gonna see that in the because we're gonna have debates. The presidents are gonna debate, and then that's that's gonna they do. Must that's be gonna be Ritalin up the you know what. That's, he must that's be gonna Ritalin. it's gonna be wonderful yeah. because we're gonna be able to see I, I still, everything in our I own eyes. I still think I wanna go back to what you said earlier that he killed a lot of people. He never killed nobody. No, this is a pandemic. Yeah, no, no, he didn't kill Wait, him. You, you did literally. say it. I, said I he, know, but he, you by, did say. His, I just by wanna wait you. Actions, by his misactions, he did kill them. He, what he do you got, mean? He, okay, let me let me explain it to you. Okay, so we had under o, under Obama and Biden, we had people that were looking at China what they were doing. Trump got them out in 2016. So mm -hmm. we don't we would have had those people in there. We would have seen this coming, but he took them out. He took out. We had a team for pandemics. Trump got rid of it because we didn't need it. So we didn't have those two things. We would have had. It would have changed the whole ball game because we would have seen it coming. He got rid of it. It's it's you Google it have, up, guys. Wait a minute. Google it up. Have you seen the the this news way back? You know, um, Barack Obama, who owns the software, Microsoft software. Melinda and Bill Gates mm -hmm. are together seen in Wuhan, China. This is a laboratory that they donated some money to study bots. So that means government, our government actually donated the money for them to do a study about this mm -hmm. rat, bats, everything. So right what now, are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that we had the, the pieces in place in 2016, when uh, Anthony Fauci in 2016 said, we need to get ready because our epidemic is coming. Google it. It's, it's right there. And Trump, instead of saying, no, we don't need money there, <laughs> let's take it out. 2016. To 2016. 2016. There is some controversy about what really happened with that. But even Correct. assuming you're right, guess mm -hmm. what? The virus was created thanks to Obama and Biden giving Wuhan, China, American dollars to go and experiment with this bug that they then turned into something that keeps mutating that they can't control. It was uh, the coronavirus start it has been around for many years in dogs and cats. Mm -hmm. However, yes. they took the coronavirus to experiment. Bill Gates wanted to experiment on vaccinations and experiment on publicide and how to treat people all over the world and India and Africa that are you know sick and dying and they donated US tax dollars our dollars to go and create this virus that then it mysteriously escaped and when it escaped they didn't tell us right away they just kind of played it down as oh yeah there's a little flu bug going around uh, Trump is not a doctor when he found out it was coming he stopped it as quickly as he could but now yeah. yeah, and I was just going to say he yeah, gets advice from so yeah. many people. He doesn't know he what's right and what's wrong. To, to Anthony Fauci and to the rest of the yeah, experts. and you know, Not, and I support he, Fauci. He, the Fauci changes his mind every other day. Don't wear a mask. Wear a mask. You don't need a mask. Wear a mask. You get a mask. Oh, this is nothing. This might kill two million people. No, it might kill two hundred million people. Everything that comes out of Fauci's mouth changes. You never know whether the guy's telling the truth or not. I mean, and I like him, and I listen. I'm like, I have a mask. That's I don't want to die with Anthony that Anthony Fauci's been at the helm of six U.S. presidents. Every U.S. president besides Trump has been happy with his work. We're talking about Republicans. We're talking about Democrats. He, he was here... Well, I believe since Reagan, right? He was here He's since been Reagan. Time, but look, he was here Obama with Clinton. Left he was here with two Bushes. People died of the swine flu. They didn't do anything with that. Now there's another swine flu coming. Yeah. Why does Trump have to? You know, we had the the this plague, the this the virus, the, 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 virus. the virus, and then. And you know, they have all these viruses. No president shuts down the country because you got the swine flu. That killed millions of people as well. And now they're trying to say, oh, oh COVID is spread because of what tr Trump is not a doctor. He's a real estate guy and a businessman. He needs, the problem is that he assumed an administration of people that hated him and wanted to destroy him from day one. And like one, it Pilate, is very yeah. hard to win when there's corruption behind you everywhere you turn. I mean, he's done a miraculous job of 
I am sure that that man pulls his hair out behind closed doors because he's done a miraculous job of maintaining his composure because if I was treated the way he and his family have been treated, I would not have the patience to maintain, you know the amount of people that have backstabbed him from the minute he walked into that White House, making fun of his son, his wife, yeah. trying to trip him up. And, and you know, all along, the guy ran for president. What made him run? I don't know. But he's trying to create good jobs, good business, good economy. Mm -hmm. He had the best economy we've ever had until some person let go of this virus and spread it all over our country. It wasn't him. You know, whatever, however it got out of that lab that Obama supported to create now is killing half the American people. And if you want to look at the real numbers, why is it? that in New York City, all the old people in these nursing homes were dying. You know, they don't want to pay Social Security. I mean, and then all of a sudden, as soon as COVID starts calming down, now we have another, pro, you know, the, a, a, a national protest with, with um, you know, George Floyd. That was a horrible tragedy. But mm. the truth of the matter is that one bad cop doesn't define the entire United States. It That's doesn't define to say. everybody. You know what? The last you know, time it doesn't. And to, for the Democrats to ride on that and make it seem like suddenly we're back in the 1940s. I, 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 I did a show a month ago. Hold about on a second. Police. We talk Wait, and then you go after her. And yeah, stop. Go, go ahead. ahead. It, it's true. What I tried to tell you also, the last conversation we have, and uh, also I know you can agree with this. I told them this is only the one bad cop. It should no, be that this it's isn't not, the no, not, no, 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 I'm saying. Th this is I'm the way saying, Donald Trump operates. Wait, He's like wait, one bad cop. This hundreds, let me finish. Hundreds of bad cops. Let me finish. Okay. In this world, okay, USA, mm -hmm. this is not just happening in the USA. Yes. Every country happen almost every and single that's bad day. Too. That's bad but too. what happened, okay, what happened is if you really want to go and do the rally, why not make it peaceful? You don't want it's I've taking said that advantage. In, I said I said that the peaceful rallies. Are, I, I, I'm, I'm for I'm for people rallying. People have that right in, in this country. But you Absolutely. need to write like if you go and rob Walmart or or break houses or, or do that or steal stuff. That's not doing George Floyd any service. No, it's not. You're you're actually right. making the you're, you're making peaceful. the situation worse. But to say that it's only one bad but cause, no, 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 no. man, no, there's no, hundreds no, of wait, wait. We we, we could go to so. Rodney King. It's necessary. We could Absolutely. go George Floyd. We could go on and on and on and on and on. It's not one bad cause. Hold on, let let's speak. Uh, there's a huge number of bad cops. It has it has been peaceful up until this point. They've been protesting for the kids that were getting shot, the the women, the other men. All for Black Lives Matter for a long time it has been peaceful up until this point and I just think it's you know people point. are have been in their houses they're wilding out you know it's like it, it happened at a time where there's a lot of depression going on you know with the citizens so mm -hmm. they are gonna they don't have no money they're going out there they're looting whatever they're but good. like I said it's been peaceful the protest for Black Lives Matters or police brutality has been going on peacefully for a very long time Look, up until this point I, I am I was raised in the Bronx in New York City where the cops didn't even want to go in the poor neighborhoods they we caught we used to, I we used to call them flatfoots. We used to call them pigs. They never wanted to go into the poor neighborhoods when I was a little girl. They were like, I ain't going in those projects. Let those people kill each other. Let them do all the drugs they want. There was a big, in the 1960s, there was a huge heroin epidemic because of the Vietnam vets coming back from the military with no jobs, with no careers, with no homes to live in, with no experience other than shooting people and all of that from the war huge drug problems, huge racial problems during the 1960s when I was a child and the co cops were like hands off. From the beginning of time, from the beginning if you, re if you believe in God at all and you read the Bible, man has always gone after man. I mean it's always been tribal. It's always been people trying to control and people trying to rule and people trying to have class here and class here and religion here and religion here, your king, my king, your color, my color, your wife, my kids. You know, it, it, the humankind has been this way from the beginning of Adam and Eve. You know, no, I'm not going to follow Correct. the rules. Well, no, I'm going to. So, so, so to say, yes, it's not one bad cop because the problem we have is that police officers are too easily given that badge and gun because a lot of them are just a high school graduate. Or they don't, only. 
huh? Or, or GED. GED. So much. the problem is that in order to deal with people, in order to mitigate problems, in order to solve crisis, you need more than a high school diploma yeah, for the well, most part. Or, or, you, or and yeah, right. and you, or you need to be a good gang member that knows how to deter violence, knows how to escape. You know, you need to have skills, either street skills or knowledge in mitigation, mediation. And they have and, task force for such Yeah, and these guys well. don't have it. They have they a high school diploma, and right away us. they put them out in a patrol car giving out tickets, and they get an ego so big when they get a gun that a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them don't know how to manage that authority. Mm. You know, that is why, but that is human nature. We have parents who beat their children and abuse them physically. Why? Because they're using their authority as a parent to control and manipulate these little bodies that they brought into the world. Cops are kind of doing the same thing. So I'm not saying cops are all good, but what I'm saying is that not because bad, that cop murdered you know, uh, uh, Mr. George, mm -hmm. does that mean that everybody in this, you know, that, that there's this pervasive police police brutality against black people? That's not true. If you look at the there's data, so there's them. some. So but cases. it's against white people, the, too. The, the, yeah. the, 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 they killed more white back. people than it, they killed black people. So Nobody things, said it's so illegal against African Americans. He said there's police violence in general. And like in the, in the case, let me just go touch a little bit on the George Floyd. What makes the George Floyd incident so sad is that that cop had 17 previous... Correct. Yeah, 17 previous complaints, and he was still a cop. He should have never been a cop. He should have been out of he his job. Been the, he should have been out of his job the commander way in charge, before that. Yeah. So that makes that, but... But it's not right for these people, the young generation, is still the business, small businesses, they ruin the businesses, young. you know. <laughs> no, that, that, I mean, they know, they took right. advantage. Two, two, the they took advantage. Right. They took advantage. I mean, everybody's been in quarantine. Listen to this, guys. Yesterday, my friend and I, hold on. Yesterday, my friend and I want to go shopping um, Apple Watch. So we went to a uh, town center. Guess what? Apple is storage completely empty. There's nothing in there. Completely nothing. Yeah. The only thing you can see is the logo. Yeah, Think about that. There is still worry about this yeah. rioting, looters, that, you know, I mean, little well, businesses destroyed. Yeah, they listen, they today had I had four people with commercial evictions pending. Four small businesses that have children to feed, that have employees they were paying for businesses because of this whole situation. Mm -hmm. You know, it's one thing to say, you know, you have a pandemic and it's another to really look at the data honestly mm -hmm. and say, do we let everybody, you know, let, do we completely, it seems to me, I'm gonna change the subject, that this whole, oh, I mean, I agree with wearing the mask and I agree with social distancing, but to shut everything down and put people out of work and put small businesses out of business, all because some people are having a bad reaction to COVID-19. Not everybody, obviously. Auto but we you know, opened too soon so and look what I'm happened now. Myself, we opened so too hard. soon and now we're going backwards. <laughs> we're, now we're going to have to shut down. Every, look, California. California is going to have to yeah, shut they, everything they, down they, again they, because they we they opened. They, they did. Yeah, they did. That's, yeah. that's what I said. Yeah. We, and, they're, and they're shutting Puerto Rico down. So you have to bring a negative COVID yeah. test so you can't come in, you know. So, uh, so I mean, I wanted to say this at the end, but I'm going to say it right now. It doesn't matter who you vote for. You out there, vote for whoever you think will do a better job. But either way, if you vote for Trump or if you vote for Biden, we're going to have to unite and support the, that. If Trump wins, we're going to have to support him because we want what's better for our country. And if Biden wins, we're going to have to support him because we but want what's won. better for our country. So whoever wins, we're going to have to get behind him. It doesn't matter who it is because I don't want our country to go down. I want this to be the example let me, that let we've me say this been. one let me say this one i don't think we are going to be united you know why white house should take care of themselves first because they are not actually united think about this democrats are separating the republicans since they want trump is a president look what did nancy pelosi she
she she pushed it the to do the impeachment. Hold on, divided. let me finish. Hold on. You said you want to be united, whoever the president. That's what Trump is trying to do. But the Democrat doesn't want it because they want to be a big time where leader in the White House. They want to actually separate us. They don't want if, listen, if the Democrat wants the Republican and Democrat to get together, you can't because they don't want it. Look what happened to the poor squad. Yvette, do you agree with me? The poor squad. Okay, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez. Okay, Aliana whatever uh, Presley. Mm -hmm. Elham Omar. Yeah. Talib, Talib, uh, whatever her, her last name is, they're the one who doesn't want anything to do with the Republican Party. They, they, How could you say that we are that, going to be united? We are not. Humiliated you by Donald Trump, humiliated them. Donald Trump was so racist to they them. Are, no, 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 because you know why? Mm -hmm. I am from the Philippines. I came here to get my U.S. citizens with Okay, working hard to go through the process. Mm -hmm. I was married to a military. Okay, so we went through the process, legal process. And other people here in this country are taking advantage. They're bringing their country on this country. You cannot do that. You have to follow the rules and regulation in the U.S. Because this is a great country ever. Do you know that? Yeah, I, people I, are I taking agree advantage. With you. But why are you saying that? Okay. Democrat, the Democrat won. They're the one who's doing divide, division. No, I said, I said yes, we need, we need a, I said we need a support. Yeah. Dividing everybody, yeah. just a system. They have to take care of themselves first at the White House the, before the, they the can even the say the that. The Republicans don't even like Donald Trump. And, and that you could Google that that too. Go into a, the, a lot of the Republicans don't even agree with Donald Trump. Well, you Trump know, the bottom so. line is the truth of the matter is that if you look at the history of Donald Trump, he was a Democrat all his life, so he grew up yeah, around y'all. and he was he was and friends he, with he, he was real good friends with the Clintons. Correct, correct. He was, he was, yeah, he grew up around y'all, so his whole personality is not like a traditional Republican because he was a Democrat, just right. like I'm a Democrat. I've been a Democrat since 1981. I am not a real Republican. However, I believe in God, and if somebody wants to take God off the U.S. You know, yeah. off of the pledge, then guess what? I'm not going there. I believe this is one nation under God. Correct. It one doesn't change under. because now we have Muslims in the White House. They came as guests. They need to respect this country or don't come. Don't come to America if you don't like it. Don't come, please. Go back to your country. You know, you don't like America? No problem. Pa fuera. That's what I'm saying. Vaya la chinga. Out. Yeah. You know, this country, <laughs> this country is America. No, That's what you I'm trying to take say. God out of everything. You're going to punish you. kids for Thank reading you. the Bible. Thank you. But they could read Karl Marx. And, Thank you. Oh, you're going to punish kids for reading the Bible, but, you know, give them other things that their parents don't want. Let the parents decide the morals and values and teach math, English, arithmetic, science, and technology and leave the morals and values to the parents, the families. You know what? I Thank don't want you. my I grand agree. I got nine I grandkids. agree with you. I agree with you. That's what I'm trying to say. He say what he say because other people come here in the USA. They don't respect U.S.'s rules and regulation. They want to change something. Why? Because in their country, they can't change nothing. They can even wear something you know, something showing your arms, something showing your legs, something showing your boobs. You can't, but here you can, right? Because this is a freedom, and then you have a freedom of speech. This is what? An, an open discussion, as we're doing yeah. now. You yeah, can't do this. That's, that's what makes this country great, that we can sit here and have different views, and, and, and still all of us were able to share our opinions. And the Bush. Yeah. <laughs> and we could agree to disagree. And we agree on some issues too. Some some yes yeah. and some no. And that's that's the, the beauty of America is we have the our, the freedom to think and speak, our First Amendment rights. It works both ways. You can protest and you can you should be able to pray and praise. Correct. It's not Thank fair you. to you. let people protest peacefully but not let a child pray. I mean, how could that be offensive to anyone? Correct. It's just our country is taking this so far to the left that people like myself that are grandparents that are middle of the road I'm a moderate Democrat you know I'm a Christian I, I don't believe in late-term abortion and I support women's right to choose to have all the abortions you want but not when your baby is two days due that's murder to yeah. me so there's a lot of lines I have to draw as a Christian woman and on the other hand I respect the thing the reason I've always been a Democrat 
is because I believe in equal equal opportunity for everybody irrespective of their skin color irrespective of where they came from whether they're gay or straight or bi or queer or whatever I don't care everybody has a right to live and develop their fullest potential whatever that may be and my job as a former teacher counselor lawyer is to help people you know get the best out of this life it, it has nothing to do with Democrat Republic it has to be with humans humanity so I'm a humanitarian that's why I was always right. a Democrat uh, we will continue this discussion uh, is next time week. up yeah wow. Wow. well I just want to yeah. see you guys uh, to see Shout out to everyone. Go ahead. You go first. Okay. I just want to say thank everybody here. It's so nice to meet all of you and hear your open discussions. Very interesting. I'm not heavily involved myself in the politics, you know, but I do know good from bad, and I know that, <laughs> you know, I think. Anyways, but I want to say thank you all so much, and again, for CCR Solutions for having us here. So, thank you. Thank you. I, I want to thank two people that are here, uh, Angeles Campuzano and... Uh, Dolores Campuzano, they're here with me. They came to watch, and I'm happy that they're here. And I, I just want to say one last thing. November, make sure you get out and vote, because if you don't vote, don't complain. That's right. Okay, so if you don't vote, then I, I don't want to hear your complaints. All right, sis. Oh, okay. Um, I just want to shout out everybody out there who are um, taking care of themselves and their health and doing their best to survive this COVID um, <laughs> craziness and um, to everybody here just discussing these things you know um, giving some more information out there it's good for okay. us to know thank you thank authority you. well thank you for having me and, and, and for sponsoring this event I'm sure you're gonna make a fabulous actor and model you are beautiful and <laughs> thank handsome you so much. and uh, thank yeah you thank you and like he says uh, Juan says it's very important we vote and it's very important that we you know help each other and love each other irrespective of parties we humans and we're, U we're U.S. people living in America and we need to help each other and love each other and be kind to each other as best as we Thank can. You. All right, once again, this is the, the Roundtable Discussion at Ariel Davi Network, and I just want to say thank you to CCR team. Of course, the, the main uh, good-looking man here, no other than Atom, so <laughs> Atom Miller can show you around this uh, location. So once sorry. again, if you want to have your show, check it out, uh, go to their website, and we're going to put that in our uh, wall, in our social media. And I just want to shout out to all the people who who are watching right now and who will answer for you guys. I bet uh, uh, former State Senator Mark Minendo, thank you so much. Yay, uh, CCR. Yes, CCR. Thank you so much. Once again, I love you guys. Thank you to the whole team, from the engineer, from the cameraman, uh, Maurice, uh, technical director, Sam, um, director also, cameraman, and who else is here? Ben, I love you, Ben. And of course, Eric, and uh, who else? Mr. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> and Devin, thank you so much. I love you guys once again. Uh, thank you to CCR for sponsoring uh, Ariel Davi Network, the roundtable discussion. I want to say thank you to uh, Tony, Yvette, Chevalier Lopez, and the delegates for Do Joe Biden, and of course, Devin, and my partner, Angel. I love you guys. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you.